Hello and welcome to the Punakea screencast. Punakea is trying to help you manage your files. It does so by allowing you to tag your files, that means adding keywords to them. A lot of you will already know tags from such sites as YouTube and Flickr. Sometimes a file needs to be in more than one place. With folders, this was next to impossible to do. Tags allow you much more freedom. You can add as many of them as you like to a file. And the great thing about it, if you browse your files by tags, you also get your related tags displayed immediately. Now, let's have a look at how Punakea integrates into your daily workflow. It's a common task to browse websites for information. And let's assume I want to know more about the iPhone. I go to apple.com on the iPhone side. The first thing I want to do is tag the bookmark to this website. To do this, I simply drag the address bar icon to the Punakea sidebar. There, I can drop the address bar icon on the drop area. As soon as I do this, the tagger will open and I can add as many tags as I like to the bookmark. Below the drop area in the sidebar, you see the most recent and most popular tags currently in Punakea. As soon as I close the tagger, the tags will be written to the file. I can now access this file by clicking on a tag in the sidebar and Punakea will display all the files with this tag. In the tag cloud, you will see the related tags. I also want to have some pictures of the iPhone so that I have something to look at while I don't have the real thing. Let's have a look for some nice pictures. Yeah, this one looks nice. I'll save it to my downloads folder. Perhaps another one. Let's have a look. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is quite nice too. I'll save this one too. Of course, I also need to know how the iPhone is working. So I'll have a look at the user guide. The user's guide is a PDF. I'll click it. And while it's downloading, I'll show you another feature of Punakea. This feature is called the Dropbox. The Dropbox is a simple folder on your hard drive. Every file you save or drop in this folder is automatically assigned some tags. Which tags you can set here. I'll save the user's guide in the Dropbox. The Dropbox is located in your Documents Punakea folder. And there it is, your iPhone user guide. Punakea also shows small previews of PDFs and images. Additional file info is shown in the bottom left of the browser. Just click on the file. Double click the file to open it. If you want to see which tags are currently on the file, click the tags button. You can also edit all the tags directly. Remember the iPhone images I downloaded before. Let's add some tags to them. Simply drag and drop an image to the Punakea doc icon. The tagger will show, you can add your tags. I added the tags. Let's navigate to the file in Punakea. I can also tag files by directly dropping them in the results list. All currently selected tags are then added to the file. Adding another tag to the file is very easy. There is even more Punakea can do for you. You can add tag sets, which will be displayed under your favorites.
You can add additional tags to your favorites by simply dragging and dropping them. You can also browse your tags by file type. Click on PDF documents, all your tags on PDF documents are shown. The same thing with images. The Manage Tags mode allows you to edit and delete your tags. You might have noticed I misspelled the P in iPhone. Let's correct that. Just put in the new name and hit enter. All tags on tagged files will also be renamed. This concludes a little screencast about Punakea. Really hope you like what you saw and just try it for yourself.